So next we want to talk about software process and improvement. The goal of software engineering is not just to say that we have a process, but to actually improve how we create complicated IT projects, whether they're hardware based, software based, or a combination of the two. We need to work on improving each project so that with each successor project, it gets better and better, always moving towards the ultimate goal of perfection. The existence of a process is no guarantee that software will be delivered on time, meet the needs of the customer, or deliver long-term quality. Process patterns must be coupled with software engineering practice. There are several standard methods for us to assess software. We're going to look at these different methods. The first that we're going to look at is the standard CMMI. Assessment Method for Process Improvement, also sometimes referred to as SCAMPI. This provides a five-step process assessment tool, initiating, diagnosing, establishing, acting, and learning. There's a CMM, Project-Based Appraisal, for Internal Process Improvement. It provides a diagnostic method for assessing the relative maturity of a software organization. Then we have SPICE, which is ISO slash IEC 15504. This is a standard that defines a set of requirements for software process assessment. The intent is to standardize the assessment organizations in developing object evaluation in the efficiency in any defined software process. ISO 9001-20000 for software is a generic standard that applies to any organization that wants to improve the overall quality of its products, systems, or services that it provides. Now remember, we talked earlier that it's not just about tools, or in this case, standardized processes. You have to be good at using them. And even if your organization will not use one of these methods, you can still mimic them by trying to create your own processes and using a proper peer review post-mortem process to determine what happened, what worked, and how you're improving. Most places that I worked didn't have a formal or even in some cases an informal process to evaluate their software development progress. That didn't keep me from coming up with my own processes and procedures to evaluate and improve myself. I was then able to take that knowledge and go to another organization and another, etc., bringing my knowledge and experience to those organizations to be a better, more productive member of them and their team that much faster. So, just because you don't have one or your organization or company doesn't have one doesn't mean you can't follow some of those same guidelines. Now, those guidelines are often very detailed and instructive, and you need to go and look at them. Often, they are not free, which is why you don't typically see them on an individual. Rather, you see them being done at a company or organization wide. And you will see organizations sometimes tout the fact that, hey, we're an ISO 9001 or we're a this. This is what they're talking about. It's about that they are working to improve themselves, track their progress, and do better with each ongoing project.